Would you like some more? Yes? Okay. Let's give you some more. There we go. Don't spill it. Let's give your neighbor some more as well. Was that refreshing? Did that feel good? Awesome. Wait, anything else? Okay. We'll give you some of this as well. Isn't this wonderful? Isn't this wonderful? Late afternoon little shower. Welcome to an episode of Blooms for You. It is so good to have you here. Cousin It says hello. No, he's not in bloom. But this is what we do late afternoon after the most warmest part of the day has passed. And I thought I would try something for a little bit of fun. And if it has worked out, then we had a little giggle. And if it didn't work out really well, then, well, we had a giggle. <laughs> it's good to have you here. Thank you so, so much for clicking on this video. Now, after every single video, I say thank you so, so much for watching. In every video, I ask you to please subscribe and then I hope that you do. And then in every video, you will hear me say, please like the video because as per YouTube, that really helps with the algorithm. Now, when I say thank you so, so much for watching, many times it can come across as being a habit, something you say. It just slips freely and you may feel like I don't really mean it. I'm here to tell you that I say it, I mean it. But this series of Blooms For You is more than that. It gives me the opportunity to go name by name that I can identify that is on my list that I accumulate over all the months while you wait for your name to come up or it gets being slow bloomers. <laughs> and if you have subscribed and don't have a private account, I can actually see you, identify your name, put you on that list. The same goes with new names in the comments. So this series is dedicated to say specifically thank you to you naming you one by one unless you've asked specifically not to be named but I use my orchid blooms in order to do that. At the beginning of the year I had several challenges which made it impossible for me to stay on top of the orchids that were blooming to be able to bring out videos that are bloom dedications as the orchids were blooming. However, thank goodness for technology, we can record, document, take images and then use them at a later date and that is what is happening in this episode. We're going to be going back in time. I will put the dates up on when these orchids bloomed out so that you don't get confused with, oh my my goodness, it's blooming this time of year? No, 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 no. The orchids in this episode bloomed quite some months ago. Before we get to the blooms, I have an orchid that <laughs> I dedicate always and grow specifically for the orchid ninjas, which are channel members. So if you aren't an orchid ninja and you would like to become one, please subscribe to the channel and that is when the join button will appear. The orchid in question is my Phalaenopsis corner survey variety Chatela Day, lovingly called Lady Chatterley on my channel. Lady Chatterley always puts a smile on my face because you just can't look past that grin, that cheeky little grin on her blooms. She is back in bloom. Now granted, in 2022, we had a spectacular blooming of Lady Chatelaine. For the time being, she has opened two blooms. Good enough for me to start bringing her into the viewfinder to say thank you so, so much for your support, Orchid Ninjas. Lady Chatelaine has lost two spikes during the stressful time, the transition between winter to early spring, low light levels, cold temperatures. Yeah, she's not doing so well, not 100%, but we've got some spikes left and we have these beautiful, cheerful, darling little blooms back, putting a smile on my face and I hope on your face as well. Orchid Ninjas, you are appreciated. You make it possible that at the end of the YouTube pay period, I actually do get some funds in that support the orchids and that support me. Unfortunately, I rely 100% on the income from YouTube. I keep trying to change that status quo. It's not happening at the moment. So every little helps. Thank you to all of you so, so much for your support. Lady Chatterley, she's back in bloom for you. 
And for everybody that is not mentioned in this episode, I have flashed back to my beautiful blooming of the Dendrobium of Phyllum that is very short-lived but spectacular when it happens. And I like to have these cluster blooming, big blooming kind of orchids with lots and lots of blooms because I want to say that this blooming was for everybody that is not specifically mentioned in today's episode. I want you to know that I see you, I appreciate you, and if your name has not come up in any of the episodes just yet know that if you have commented if you have subscribed if your youtube account is not private you are on the list and with all that done eventually there will be a bloom and a shout out for you as well in the future so with all that being said let's go and have a look see what did bloom early in the year and whose names are attached to those blooms who i want to say thank you to well this is my wildcat Actually, she's the Oncostella Wildcat Golden Red Star. <laughs> Big name for a medium-sized Oncidium. But she bloomed beautifully for us this late winter. I have to say, it's the first time I ever got two spikes out of her. She was a rescue orchid back in the day, and I promptly put her back into rescue mode, but now she's bounced back. So, a strong orchid, regardless of the mistakes I've made. This year, she gave us two spikes. And these blooms were dedicated to, and are dedicated to, Janet Y, Tao Nguyen, Rodney Fisher, and Kelly Olson. Your support on my channel is very much appreciated. So here is Oncostella Wildcat Golden Red Star blooming for you. Thank goodness for footage, thank goodness for clips, otherwise we would have missed them. Now this orchid is not fragrant, but her bloom duration is in incredible. I was hoping for better days. I was hoping for better weather conditions, thinking that, well, her blooms are going to last long enough so that the weather can change and I can get proper footage and do the dedication on the day. Well, that didn't manifest itself, but at least here we are. We've got the footage because her bloom duration is around five weeks to where they look very pristine, glossy, and waxy. And in those five weeks, I was having horrendous weather. It was hard to get outside. If it wasn't cold, overcast, and miserable it was extremely windy so i'm just really glad that i could still do this and i hope you don't mind the delay in dedicating these blooms to you janet Y, tao nguyen rodney fisher and kelly olson your support on my channel is greatly appreciated and i really hope you're doing as well as my orchid is because yay fast forward to where we are at when this video is airing and we've got two new growths already on the way <laughs> tis the magic of the orchids it's awesome I love it. Anyway, thank you so, so much for your support on my channel. This is Dendrobia Memoria Krista Erdmann. Oh my goodness. She was a gift back in the day when I placed an order with Luca Orchidin. I would not have picked her out of a picture. Meanwhile, I was too focused on getting Rapiculus Lelia, so that's beside the point. But I would not have ordered her for myself if she hadn't come as a gift. And I am so glad she came as a gift. First of all, though, Dendrobium Memoria Krista Erdmann blooms for Shalita Edwards, Vodi Prijasno, Kmetivsvo, Edith Roiva, AMC, Veen Hamilton and Etana Finkler. This blooming is for you. The first time ever that I had two spikes to say thank you to you for your support on my channel. Now, the reason why I am so happy that this orchid is an actual fact in my collection, I think the images speak for themselves. She is incredibly beautiful. I love anything shredded about an orchid bloom. She's not exactly fragrant. I kind of think I'm detecting a fragrance, but uh, I don't want to pinpoint anything if I'm not entirely sure. We were supposed to have three spikes. Somebody else thought that would be lunch, so we are left with two, but it's the first time we have two spikes, so <laughs> hey. More names fell into the slot when she opened her blooms, and oh boy, is it a hustle to get this one documented because her blooms do not last beyond 10 days. Such a shame. 
an orchid like this you would want to have it around for so much longer but i don't know what it is about the makeup about the hybrid of this orchid that only allows for a bloom duration of 10 days one of the parents is stingy with their beauty it's like now you see me now you don't so if you blink you'll miss it it's incredible but the sparkles the shape it looks like a fried egg with that beautiful orange egg yolk in the middle everything about this orchid is fairy dust pixie dust it's so whimsical magical it just oh my mind is blown and like i said thank goodness i got her as a gift or i would be missing this and this orchid lives outside in my climate all year round so she's hardy down to five degrees celsius now that's quite something let's see if next year nothing takes any more spikes out as lunch because i would like to have more of this if the spectacle is so short-lived i want more of it <laughs> blow us all away all in one go so charlita edwards vodi prijasno metivstvo edit roiva amc Wien hamilton anitana finkler this gorgeous magical shredded beautiful pixie dust and all the fun stuff around this blooming these blooms are dedicated to you to thank you for your support on my channel Eric J, Bipa Sedova, Kiwi Kimmy D, Mary Faye, Nichette Butler, and Janet Rogers. Look at this. <laughs> They're so tiny, you need to get in really close. You need a magnifying glass. This is my Ascocentrum Ampuyathea Pink Dreamer. Oh my goodness, you guys. <laughs> Look at these tiny little clusters of blooms. I would like to call this my best blooming ever with this orchid because the weather back in February, March, when she was in bloom, they were dismal and no aphids wanted to be out in that kind of weather. Can't blame them. Neither did I want to be out in that kind of weather. That's why I'm playing catch up. But that means that there were no aphids on the blooms either. That made them so beautiful to look at because in past years I would take a little paintbrush keep it dry and I would try to brush out the aphids out of the blooms and everything is just minute minute oh it's very difficult without doing damage to the blooms but this year nope so there I guess this is a positive side of having terrible weather the Ampoyathea pink dreamer just bloomed like a dream and at that time the names of Eric J Bepa Sedova Kiwi Kimidi, Mary Fay, Nichette Butler, and Janet Rogers were in line, and here we are. She blooms for you. Thank you to all of you so much for your support on my channel. You are truly appreciated. The bloom duration of this one also, I was hoping to be able to film and dedicate in real time because the bloom duration can easily be five weeks. Hmm. However, it happened to coincide with five weeks of tremendous nasty weather. And then when the blooms started to be a little bit, not going over, but you could see that they were aging a little bit, I thought, yeah, no, we're going to be playing catch up with this one as well. So she's doing great. My super dry climate, it's not knocking her out in any way, shape or form. What can I say? So happy that this one, at least this one being a vandacious orchid, <laughs> it's still with us. Know that you, Eric J, Pepa Sedova, Kiwi Kimmy D, Mary Fay, Nichette Butler, and Janet Rogers, know that you are appreciated here. Thank you so, so much for everything. We're back in business with my Rincolelia Digbiana. We got two leads to bloom out, something she didn't do for one year, I believe in 2022. She only bloomed on one lead, but hey, hey here we are. In 2023, she bloomed on both her leads. Typical, of course, because now I have to intervene again in 2023, but I am getting ahead of myself. The two blooms were for Bibish Knauf and Lost Passenger. Thank you so much to the two of you for supporting my channel. Rincolelia Digbiana, woohoo! She bloomed for you for a total time period of just a week, but still, okay, that wasn't my choice. The bloom duration can be easily two and a half, three weeks, but... As difficult as it was to take the blooms off, I needed the orchid to stay strong because each bloom is so 
intricate, so beautiful. They are so big as well. And if conditions aren't 100%, that takes a lot of energy out of the orchid. She couldn't even push her fragrance of the citrusy, soapy. It's nice. I like it. It's pungent into your nose on the citrus side, along with a soapy kick, a little bit of a note of soap at the end, which makes everything very fresh. I love the fragrance personally, but it was very weak because of my conditions. So I couldn't appreciate that this time around as much and I thought yeah I think we're going to cut this blooming short but it was wonderful while it lasted and I'm not going to miss out on the fact that I can dedicate these blooms in retrospect to Bibish Knauf and Lost Passenger because they really are worth it. Thank you to both of you so much for your support on my channel. Now you know Rincolalia Digbiana. She bloomed for you. When your names came up, I was not going to skip this one. I was not going to pass this one by, regardless of the circumstances. I really hope you're doing well. Your support on my channel is appreciated. Cartwheels around the patio for a first time bloomer. Ancelia Africana Buffalo crossed with Leo. Yes, I have several Ancelia Africanas, but only this one bloomed out for me this year and it happened to be its first time. And am I impressed or am I impressed? Well, I'm impressed, but that doesn't count. That's not what we're here for. We're here to see if the following names are impressed because this orchid bloomed for W. Vanden Akako, Orchids in Paradise, Coached, Ila Cleon, Sarah M and Fernando Döring. So if you're watching this video, are you impressed? Let me know in the comments. I really hope so <laughs> because I was over the moon. Now this is its perfect blooming. We had some buds to go and yes, I'm playing catch up because when it was time to do the dedication, the temperatures really started to warm up and there was shuffling and prevention and all this stuff to do. And I just ran out of time. It blows my mind how quickly suddenly everything goes. So I ran out of time to do the dedication then and there. But let me tell you, we are now talking months of bloom duration. Her fragrance, well, you've got to get close to it. Smells a bit dusty. It's not an off-putting dust fragrance. Like a Sologeny could be a little bit off-putting in its fragrance. This one is dusty and it has a little hint of sweetness as well, which makes it really nice because I have another Ancelia Africana that just smells dusty. But this dust fragrance is something I really enjoy with a little hint of sweetness. It was so nice to have this orchid in bloom, even though I couldn't do the dedication at the same time. But anyway, I hope that despite this being a catch-up, W. Vanden Akako, Orchids in Paradise, Coached, Ila Cleon, Sarah M. and Fernando Döring, I hope that you enjoyed seeing the blooms that are dedicated to you as my way of saying thank you to you for your support on my channel. Thank you so much. Megan Fletcher and SS, we got the two stooges. We've got Paphiopedalum Iona in bloom, and she blooms for you as a massive thank you for your support on my channel. I appreciate it so, so much. I just called her the two stooges. I should have three stooges, but the last two years she's been just a duo, not a trio. So we are happy with what we can get when our orchids bloom. <laughs> The orchid is fine. Don't know why she's deciding just to bloom two blooms this time around again. But never mind, that's okay. At least the list came up with your name. And well, the obvious is now right here. My Paphiopedum Iona bloomed for you back in the day. Megan Fletcher and SS to say thank you so, so much for your support on my channel. Know that you are appreciated and know that I see you. If you've made it to the end, let me thank you one more time. I appreciate your time so, so much. Cousin It is growing beautifully, I have to say. He's also getting the ZZ Top beard coming in, but I'm keeping it as thin as possible so that the new growth will grow out with plenty of light. But we are loving these temperatures. If you haven't already done so, please like the video. If you haven't already done so, 
please subscribe to the channel. Let me know that you are here so that you can go on a list and a bloom will be there for you in the future. I wish you a fabulous day. On that one condition though, please, that you stay safe. Take care. Bye.